Molna, I have a relative who is convinced that when something bad happens to someone or when places experience any natural disasters, bad weather, etc., all of those are signs of Allah's anger. When I explained that all of the all of these are only tests from Allah, she said, but that is the way that they were taught all the years. Is there any hadith or dua that I can explain to her that it's tests and trials and not always that Allah is angry? I'm just worried and concerned that the young ones growing up around her may have the mindset that Allah is always angry and punishing people. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You know the time of the day of the death of Qasim ibn Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the son of Rasulullah sallam. The day when he died, there was an earthquake as well. So people used to say, you know, even the earth shook with the death of the son of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi replied, "It is Allah that caused the earthquake. It is not that because." of the death of my son that that caused the earthquake when we experience like now if we experience the storms and all these uh, destructions happen through the storms doesn't always mean bad it, the, the good in it the dams are filling up secondly it is winter it's supposed to be the nizam of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and in winter he does give rain, and in summer the, the heat is there. It doesn't mean that every storm and every natural disaster that happens after any storms is Allah's anger. It is also, there is khair in everything. Therefore, Rasulullah said, a mu'min for everything of him, for him is khair. Whether he goes through good, the khair in it is, he will say, alhamdulillah. When it goes through bad, you will say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. It means, it is also khair in him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives these happenings or this uh, occasion where things happen in our eyes might look bad, but it doesn't mean Allah is angry. It is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised and he will give everybody a certain form of test. And that is for us to succeed in the test and say inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon.